Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Jamaican jerk platter. Starting off, I'm going to be making our dough for our Jamaican patties. So I'm just taking three cups of white spelt flour and I'm just going to be adding that into a large mixing bowl. Followed by that spelt flour, I'm going to be taking one teaspoon of turmeric for color, one fourth a cup of grape seed oil, and one cup of spring water. And I'm just going to combine all of those ingredients and roll out the dough with my hands until it begins to look something like this. Then I'm going to add it back into that mixing bowl, cover it, and set it aside to let the dough rest. Next, I'm going to be making our aki. So I'm going to be taking some green bell pepper, some red bell pepper, and half of a brown onion. And then, of course, I'm going to be needing the aki. I'm just going to combine all of those ingredients in my cast iron pan, cooking in some grapeseed oil, and I'm going to be taking a little bit of our Jamaican jerk seasoning. Followed by that, I'm going to be taking some seasoning salt to my life. Jerk jackfruit with garbanzo beans. So starting off, I'm going to be taking some thinly sliced brown onion. And then I'm going to be taking one cup of jackfruit. And then I'm going to be taking one cup of cooked garbanzo beans and adding some sea salt to my liking. And then I'm taking one tablespoon of the Jamaican grape seasoning. And then I'm going to be taking in total two tablespoons of the Jamaican jerk marinade. And this is really just to my liking. Um, Feel free to add however much of that seasoning that you would like. I'm just covering it with a lid and letting it simmer. And once all of that water has absorbed, I'm going in and adding one cup of coconut aminos and then six more cups of spring water. And I'm just going to add the lid and let it simmer until all of that water has absorbed. Now it's time to start making those Jamaican patties. I'm going to be doing two different ones. For the first one, I'm going to be doing a green patty that is filled with kale. So I'm just chopping up some kale in my food processor and then I'm also adding some green bell pepper and some brown onion. And I'm just going to cook all of that down And I'm cooking this kale down until pretty much all of that liquid has been absorbed. The other filling I'm going to be doing is just going to be portobello mushroom and brown onion. So I went ahead and cooked that in my cast iron pan. Here is that dough after I let it rest for about an hour and a half. I'm just chopping it up into smaller pieces to make it easier to work with. And I'm just going to thinly stretch out that dough and begin adding in those fillings. And then I'm just going in with my fork to seal it. And I baked these at 375 degrees in my air fryer for 10 to 15 minutes. Next, I'm going to be making our drink, which was a hibiscus drink. I'm taking some hibiscus flour powder, which is available to order at myalchi.com. And then I took some ginger root powder and followed by that hibiscus flour powder and the ginger root powder. I then took some Ceylon cinnamon powder And then I took some fresh squeezed key lime juice, about two key limes. And then I just added some agave syrup to my liking and then some spring water. And that was our drink for the night. I'm next going to be making the steamed cabbage, which is just going to be cabbage, 
spring water and then I'm going to be taking some sea salt and yellow and green bell pepper and I'm just cooking all of that until all of those vegetables are completely cooked and our last cooked dish that I did was some wild rice with some red beans burrow banana and I'm frying it as well in some grapeseed oil. So here is how everything is looking. Those patties are nice and crispy on the outside and the filling is nice and moist and hydrated. Just gonna go ahead and plate everything, adding in that jerk jackfruit with those garbanzo beans. Taking some of that cabbage. This is that aki. And then one of those patties and then the burrow bananas and this is the complete plate let me know what you guys thought about this recipe if it looks good if you would try it out also be sure to order our seasonings at just alkalinevegan.com thank you again for watching and i will see you guys in my next